My name is Ben Wheeler. I'm a researcher here at the European Centre for Environment and Human Health. I'm a geographer and epidemiologist, so I take, tend to take large data sets and map them across the whole country and relate how uh, the environment and socioeconomic conditions affect people's health and well-being. Um, in this study, we've been able to show that mapping people across the whole country using a very large data set, that populations living closer to the coast tend to report better health and well-being. In this study, we've taken data from the 2001 census about the health of the population. So the, the census asked everybody to tick a box that says, how's your health been over the last 12 months or so? Um, and people can tick a box that says good or fairly good or not good. And we've taken the percentage of people who tick the good box to be a sort of measure of the good health and well-being of the population. And we're able to map that data for 48 million people across the whole country. Um, and so we can then relate the percentage of people who tick that good box to how close they live to the coast. So once we collated that data on good health and on how close populations live to the coast, we analysed it with other data sets that might be um, involved in that relationship. So we looked at things like um, how much green space there is in an area, um, social economic deprivation and also urban rural so whether we were looking at cities or rural areas and trying to analyze those separately to get a really good idea about these sort of complex relationships and once we'd taken all those other things into account we actually found a small but pretty significant increase in the percentage of people ticking that good health box the closer you get to the coast we also found which was really interesting that actually once you break the data down and look at different populations separately um, that that relationship between good health and, and being close to the coast is actually strongest amongst our most socioeconomically deprived populations. So the more deprived areas um, tend to have a much stronger relationship and that actually mirrors some of the work that's been done on proximity to green space and how that relates to health and well-being and health inequalities. Well, this kind of study actually can't prove cause and effect. It can only show an association between two things, in this case, proximity to the coast and good health. Um, and one of the major reasons for that, one of the major limitations with this type of study, is that it doesn't follow people over time. It simply takes a snapshot when people filled in that census form in 2001, and it just tells us where they lived at that time. So we can't sort of say where they've been beforehand. And we do know one of the major issues around this kind of study is something called the healthy migrant effect, where people who are wealthier and perhaps healthier have more capacity and more ability to move around the country and perhaps to move towards desirable areas like the coast. And we all know that property prices tend to be perhaps more expensive by the coast. So there are sort of, um, there may be other things going on here that explain um, the fact that we seem to find healthier populations by the coast. And this kind of study just isn't able to um, pick that apart. Well, this study fits into a whole programme of research at the European Centre for Environment and Human Health about natural environments and how they might support good health and well-being. And that programme of research is really broad and varied from experimental psychology where we can do things in laboratory conditions in a really controlled environment um, to survey research where we can use data such as that collected by Natural England where they monitor how people engage with their natural environment. Um, and we'd really like to de develop this further to really um, understand that sort of long-term relationship about how people um, move, how they interact with the environment over their whole life course and to really understand the sort of cause-effect relationship between spending time in nature and how that affects people's health and well-being.